when I'm working with users on joysticks, I get the same sort of requests pretty often. It's either, can you make it smaller or can you make it bigger? Because everybody's got a different need and is gonna be using these things differently. So for example, here's my slider stick. This is the standard version, the one that I originally created and still create, very popular stick. And it slides in just the two dimensions, it does not tilt. So this has been very helpful for folks with uh, prosthetics. It's been helpful for folks who wanted to use it with their feet. Now, as we found out, is because this has a little mechanism inside, using your legs and your feet, if you have full strength, can really put a lot of stress on that component. So what ended up happening is my development of the PLUS, which is significantly larger, as you've seen in some of the other videos. It's also significantly more robust. It also has all replaceable parts inside. Uh, it's one of my few sticks that I actually put together with uh, fasteners so that the joystick mechanism can be replaced in the field. I want to do that with my other sticks, but they're just a little too complicated at this point. Well, so I made the big one, which made people happy, but then folks were asking, what about smaller? Well, let's take a look at the mechanism. Inside the joystick is one of these analog slider thumbsticks. These originally came out of the world of the original PlayStation Portable where you had that left thumb stick to deal with. Uh, this particular one I've removed the centering spring on so it's not an auto center but the normal one centers. As you can see it's pretty small but not super small. So the footprint is of the stick part itself is a penny and then the board and everything else. So from an enclosure standpoint, I can't go much smaller than this enclosure because I have to fit the microcontroller board in there and I have to mount the stick itself in there. So uh, from an overall enclosure, it's, this is gonna be harder to make small. What I can do easily is make options for this slider. I would not want to make it any bigger. This is about as big as I found works well with this component. I can make it smaller though. So if you're okay with these, this two and a half inch square in cl clear enclosure, but you need a smaller pad here, that I could do. Just let me know and uh, we could try it out. So that is what's happening with sliders. I'm also looking at other options for sliders, which are uh, very exciting. And these are in the earlier days. This is a version of my slider that is going to be a hybrid between my original and the plus size version. You can see it kind of size wise, it's in between the two. What's really the big difference here is the Componentry that we use to record the movements. This is this is a magnetic sensor inside of here, so there is there is no physical component. There is no joystick to wear out uh, in here. This, so this these parts are all 3D printed, and then there's a magnet, and the magnet is picked up by the sensor, which is then picked up and understood by the microcontroller, which does all the wonderful code to do that. So this is going to be the next generation of slider sticks. Again, it's early days on this. Uh, what I'm working on is the centering, the spring centering, since this is not relying on a joystick component. Um, I'm also looking at sensitivity this magnetic sensor can be a little too sensitive sometimes and there could be fluctuations if you're pressing down against it. Those are all things I'm working on in the code, which is why it's taken a little longer than normal to get this one out. But um, that will be coming at some point. But for now, you've got the good old slider to go with and we could do different sized tops if you need them. So just send me a note and we can always work through it. Thanks for watching.